What's up guys, Larry Chen here. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. Today we're focusing on Porsches. Lots of Porsches. Actually, we already did the Porsche uh, shop tour episode, but today we're gonna focus on this thing. Um, I know this is crazy because you told me it's crazy, but this is, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be ready for this, but this is uh, Joey Seeley of Emotion Engineering. This is his shop. It's very beautiful. There's a lot of Porsches here. Um, but this thing, I know this is crazy because this kind of, it, it has like a hidden tow hook, right? <laughs> where, where like it, it, when you're driving on the street, you don't want the tow hook to be protruding out of the bumper. So then you just fold it in. Yep, yep. So this is uh, part of the factory uh, cup car. Um, which is the factory race car, GT3 race car. So this is a 991.1 Turbo S, but with a 991.2 GT3 cup body. So, and, and, and with some changes obviously, but that's part of, that's part of the front bumper of the GT3 cup. Um, it's got all the GT3 radiators and AC condensers. So it, it's proper behind the bumper, which a lot of times I get really upset when I see body work that doesn't made up to the ducting to the, to the radiators or intercoolers or oil coolers, whatever the case may be. But this is all proper. The, the front clip of this car is, is GT3, including the hood, including the fenders. Wait, so this is like actual race car stuff. So this is actual race car stuff. On the race car, this is where the fresh air fans were. So this just fed them. They are not functional because we have, uh, you know, we have air conditioning and we have uh, pollen filters and stuff like that. So rather than just closing them off, we allow this air to pass through and, and exit um, at the windshield. So it's not quite the same. The hood pins work, but it still has the regular latches because it is a street car and you don't want people just walking up and opening your car. What year is this? Uh, 16, 2016. Okay. Um, but it's the 2018, 2019 bodywork of a, of a cup car. And so this is a customer's car. Correct. And like, so essentially turbo, but put a lot of actual race car parts on this. Right, so the, the front and rear bumper, the front hood, the front fenders, which are the widened flared fenders, um, this deck lid and wing and all of, all of that is, is from the cup car. So it appears like the cup car does, except for it has a glass roof, um, you know, and, and a full interior and, and twin turbos, which, I mean, the next obvious thing that you see is the intercoolers popping out uh, where they don't belong. Um, but we did it as tasteful as possible. Okay, so that's the thing is um, uh, a cup car, as cool as it is, you can't register that for the street. Nope, they have a VIN number that's not recognized, yeah. And that's kind of the point of this. It's essentially you're, you're, you're putting a lot of this body work onto a street car. Uh, do you just buy this stuff from Porsche? Like call them up like, hey, I need all of this stuff. It's, it's a lot more complicated than that, but yes, you technically could get all the body work. Um, you know, they, they, they don't like dealing with everybody and you better know what you're asking for, you know, cause they're not gonna tell you, well, you need this part, this part, and this part. You have to know which parts to ask for. Um, but, uh, you know, and then the other, you know, obviously we talked about the intercoolers popping out, but we had to come up with an exhaust solution because yes. turbo, turbocharged cars are not center exit. Let's talk about this. First of all, this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> like, oh my God. That's the rear rain light. So that, that had to happen, you know, and we have it. Some people wire it as the brake light, um, which I don't like just cause it is actually really bright. Um, but it's, you know, proper as rain light or rear fog. So, you know, with the mist on a race car on a racetrack, they, they have that turned on so that at all times there's at least that light, you know, coming through the mist. 
So this is this is wired up just the same. Okay, so and then tell me about the exhaust then. This is because it's a turbo car, I actually love this so much because you could have just made it an oval, mm -hmm. but I'm guessing you probably lose a lot of strength from that. Um, not necessarily. It just it's been done before, you know, and I thought this would be kind of fun. We wanted the two banks to merge um, for the sound and for, for the torque. Um, so rather than just going straight oval, you know, we just, as we merged it, we just left it as, as like a figure eight. Um, the, you'll see it sounds amazing. We still have catalysts on this. So this is, you know, turbo straight out into, um, you know, we allow the exhaust gases to expand properly out of the turbo. We turn the corner, we have the high flow cats in there that are um, from HJS, which are the, the best power and uh, function. Like they, they really do keep the, the exhaust gases clean um, and they don't burn up with the, with the EGTs of, of a big turbo power car. So are we able to see anything under here? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's definitely not the same as, as, a, as it was originally. Um, you still can't see a ton, but you can see the air box. Oh, that's so neat. Whoa, okay, <laughs> all right. Not yeah, a whole lot to no. see. Um, you know, this is, this is the, the carbon framework from the cup car, but the- What? The, so you, you guys had to move all of this over too? All of it. it wow. If you wanted to make this wing work, as you can see, this doesn't mount to the deck lid, which is what the street cars do. Yeah. This, this mounts to the frame because it does create a lot of downforce and would tear a deck lid off the car, or at least break the hinges, uh, or break the hinges away from the deck lid. So this is this is a reinforced frame uh, in the back here. But this is also from the cup. This is also. But from like, the cup. so you had to like make something for this to work. Yeah, yeah. So I did. I because they don't have latches. So I I made this latch work. Um, you know, just with some basic spacers and and trimming. And there's a lot of trial and error to get it to line up the way we wanted. Um, but again, you know, you saw me unpin it and still have to go in the car and, and remove the latch. So, you know, pedestrians can't just walk up to your car and sabotage it. <laughs> but this, uh, this is the, this is the air box actually right here. We, there wasn't room. So we made it, we made an air box that feeds through the deck lid that the, the back half of the deck lid, or sorry, the back half of the air box is actually the bumper. So this is just closed off and we have two giant filters. Thank you. If you move your camera to that side, you might be able to see. Okay, got it. So, 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 so um, the air. This is actually functional, then. Yeah. The air goes through here. Yeah. So this is for the air box right here. This this middle um, section. These outer ones are for these these fans that um, cool the 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 radiant um, temperature in the engine compartment. They just blow past the engine and out below the car. Oh, it actually blows down, not yep. out. Okay. Oh, got it. Okay. Um, this is interesting in that, like, the, traditionally, the GT3 um, bumper had, like, a small slit here, right? Yeah, it had a little slit right here that had a, had a, um, a grill like, like this right here. Yeah. Um, and, and that was more for just uh, venting the pressure here yep. right the rear the, tire the, the pressure po the positive pressure that's generated by the spinning wheel that's but <laughs> i love that you guys kind of like enlarge it there's no other way to do this there really isn't because as you can see it sticks out past the body um so this this vents a little bit here but we also have it venting here just like the the gt2 does it vents to the bottom and to the side a little bit so uh with all of this crazy so can we talk about like what turbos or what's done to this motor? Uh, it, well, it's, it's the stock internals, um, which uh, are proving to hold up just fine. But everything about the exhaust, the turbos, um, the manifolds, the everything from the intake runners out has been changed. Um, and that's from, um, it's what we call like the stage four from by design. He came up with a beautiful kit uh, that really, and he provides great customer service. That was the best way to get this kind of power, um, you know, with, with mix and match parts. What kind of power are we talking here? Well, this, this on a race fuel map with meth injection, we have meth injection to keep the intake air temperatures down. Uh, this makes uh, over 800 to the wheels, so 1,000 to the crank. I, and also, that's another difference between like the cup car. This is all-wheel drive. And it's all-wheel drive. Right, so it really does a really good job of, of putting down the power. I mean, it, you, you still have to be smart about it, but 
it, 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 it accelerates pretty hard. Yeah, I mean, that's not saying much in, in that, like, I'm sure it spins pretty easily, all four tires. Uh, it will, yep, yep, if you're, if, you, if you're trying to intentionally do that. Um, but the thing about a 911, as you know, like, the engine back there with momentum squatting over the rear tires, they, they hook up pretty well. But when you, you know, you also have all-wheel drive, and we, this has upgraded clutches, so it bangs the gears. But um, it, it, you have to, in, you always have to respect the 911, especially a turbocharged 911. You know, so we, we'll, we'll have a little bit of fun, but I have to be respectful <laughs> of the car, but also on public roads, you know? Yeah. Cool, so should we go for a drive? Um, yeah. This is one that you need to bring to this versus that. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this versus that, if you guys don't know, it's when we just go to our airstrip and race heads up on an unprepped surface, you know, and uh, I think the, probably the most popular this versus that uh, series is when people race against the Hoonicorn, but forget about the Hoonicorn, I think this would be cool to go up against like a legitimate drag car, you know, 1500 It'd be interesting feet, to, to see you know? what it does. Yeah because it has so much power um, and it's it's still comfortable like it has all the creature comforts yeah still yeah we got the air conditioning on we'll skip out on the stereo but you know it has a aftermarket nose lift on it oh it actually well you'll see that it actually is still very civilized yeah it is civilized uh, until Actually, you, until you ask it for more. And it's not even that loud compared to my car. I feel like my car's probably even louder than this. Um, Which is probably not that good. For now. <laughs> yeah, for now. What's crazy is this, you know, that outlet of the exhaust that you were, you know, pointing out. The concussions, the crackles, they are not crackles mm. on this car. It's like a bomb going off. Oh, really? Whoa, okay, that already sounds Here, yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. And you can hear the turbos like, I call it taxiing. Because uh -huh. it sounds like a jet taxi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. What is that? That's the nose lift? So that was, that was turning it on. Okay. Oh wow. Oh, this actually lifts, lifts quite a bit, huh? Who it makes does. this one? Um, you know, it's a company that no longer even exists. Oh. Um, but it, it's, it's, um, to work with, this car is on the, is on JRZs. Oh, so okay, wow. So he already had this stuff. Ignore that pop. That's the, uh, PDCC, which is the, uh, the hydraulic, um, sway bar legs. Oh my God. That sound is crazy already. You're just... You're just driving so slow and it's... Whoa, that sounds insane. You can tell there's something angry going on and it's waiting yeah. to happen. <laughs> That's the thing, it's like my car is so loud on the exhaust side, I can't even hear the turbos. This is... Like the blood is rushing to the back of my head <laughs> after when you when you floor it. I guess part of it is that it, it's all-wheel drive. It has so much forward-going traction. Yeah. Oh, that is rowdy. Yeah, that is rowdy. <laughs> but what's more fun is you feel how quickly we put it back down. Seriously, I like I, on this I can't, I can't hold my, I can't grab onto my knees any harder. <laughs> like I'm gonna bruise myself. Oh my god, I can't believe how fast this thing is. It's kind of surprising, isn't it? That is not even. That's. And that's just rolling on. I mean, it's too bad we're not in Germany because we could probably hit 200 miles per hour like that. It actually is not that loud inside, but it sounds great. Yeah. But I bet you from the outside it sounds, oh wow. 
So it's, you know, if you're a straight pipes, I'm not a big fan of straight pipes because I still want... You can still have a conversation in here. Right. You know, and we're actually, this is right now at 3,200 RPMs. Uh, it's really bassy too when you, when you uh, downshift. Like the whole, I can feel everything in my seat. The boom, 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 boom. Wow. Yeah, those are more like concussions than they, it's yeah. not so much like crackling. No, no, not at all. That is uh, pretty incredible. Holy wow. It's like no drama at all. If you had this much power in a rear wheel drive car, it'll just, there's just no way. It's just going to be so squirmy. <laughs> there's no way. And just, yeah, like a front engine car, you know, would struggle a little bit more, as we all know. Incredible. What the hell? <laughs> it just keeps going. Yeah, it, it's, it's almost, it's just like there's no, like, fall off or anything. It just keeps going. It's just a, a rocket taking off. So, what octane fuel is this running with? This is this is on 100 octane right now. Okay, 100 octane. And to be honest with you, I don't even know what map it's on. It's, it could be on the, the the race map, or it could be on a pump fuel map. <laughs> but either way, it's it's uh, either way plenty it's enough for your reaction. Insane. Yeah. And the fun part too is, so this is all solid bushings, every control arm. And this is all the stuff that you make. Uh, this is not, the, this is actually, I started this car before I had my own, Got so it. this isn't, but, you know, I've always used high quality bearings in everything I do, but you notice how we're not bouncing around and how yeah. we're, like, you know, not uncomfortable and, you know, you can drive this every day. It's a, yeah. it's a, it's more or less a race car, race car body, ridiculous horsepower, solid suspension components, upgraded brakes, all of it is just, is, is built to the nines, but can still drive it on our tough our tough roads here yeah it's crazy because it's you're right it's actually not that bad even though it when as soon as you stop on the gas it's it's just face it's literally face melting <laughs> wow it's really uh i get out of this car you know and, and, and i'm shaking with excitement yeah no kidding it's a hoot <laughs> oh my god I mean, that's the thing, it's like, even if, if it was manual, would you even be able to keep up with it? Because it's accelerating so fast? That would be, it would be a chore. You'd have to have really long gears, you know, but you'd, you'd be busy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I even sometimes, you know, I've been in cars like this, you know, because I've built these cars for many years, and I, even with paddles, I, I tend to get lost and not... Because I, I I like NA power that has a different power band, and it's just is like you're just you're just slapping the <laughs> the paddle. So with the Cobb, that's the Cobb uh, access port. Yeah. Or that's what is that called? The controller. It's or? an access port. Okay, so yeah. that's the Cobb access port, and with that you can actually go through the different tunes. Correct. But I don't mess with that. I I respect my tuners and what they're capable of, and I just let them handle it. Yeah. You know I don't do everything in house, but I the best in the business you know in, in different categories whether it's transmissions or engine builds but I'm more of a, more or less the um, the general contractor mm. making sure it's all built to my specifications yeah you're you're like the director you make yeah. sure everything comes together so this this uh, the one thing that is mine or of our what our parts offering is these are my brake pads if you notice, they barely, barely squeak when cold, like a PDCC, like, um, sorry, PCCB <laughs> is the is the Porsche ceramic. I just, but Joy, legitimately, like, I'm feeling sick because of how fast this thing is. Oh my God. But the stopping. <laughs> that was no downshifting. <laughs> I, I, like... Like I'm feeling nauseous because of how much, how, how fast this thing moves out. That is incredible. I mean, I guess it's one thing to have all the power, but it's another thing to have the traction to back it, you know? Right. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. I'm kind of speechless. <laughs> Good. 
So what? I, like on, in terms of the interior, um, uh, what about the cage? Is this so, an actual? Yeah, DVD? this is. Uh, well, this is um, one of the one of our back half roll bars. Oh, okay. Because um, he wanted to be able to, you know, eventually run harnesses if he wanted to, um, and have. I mean, this is a fast car, so you want to have a little bit of, you know, roll protection. And although these these types of cages or these harness bars are not legal for any type of competition. It still is built to the same specifications as one, um, so it's all the proper diameter tubing and wall thickness and materials. So it's important for us um, to be able to offer that. Um, so that's yeah. And then we we had these seats um, reupholstered, you know, to our spec in Alcantara with red, you know, to match the exterior. And yeah. Just little touches. It's yeah. got a GT3 rear seat delete, which is kind of. A neat little touch because obviously you don't need rear seats when you have that bar back there. Mm, and I see the JRZ adjustable. Yep. Yep. Wow. Oh my god. That was incredible. <laughs> I'm I'm actually sick now. Like I like I need to like sit down for a couple minutes just to gather myself because I can't believe how awesome this thing is. So on top of that, this did this uh, have center lugs? It had center locks uh, from the factory, but we we changed the wheels out for 19-inch BBS E07s, and then um, thought it was proper. Uh, proper little homage to the to the bodywork to put gt3 dust caps on it just it, it seemed seemed fitting yeah it, it just fits so well i mean like because all of this um this is also part of the gt3 package too right yeah. all yeah. of this yeah everything uh, visually that you see is except for this um carbon and poly splitter um, this is from uh, a collaboration between Dundon Motorsports and uh, Varus Engineering. Um, they built this splitter floor that is very effective. And honestly, f as far as street use, it leaves the, the nose a little less vulnerable. Sure, it's, a, it's, it's protruding out further, so it is going to come in contact with more stuff, but there's not a whole lot to damage. It has titanium skid pucks mm. on it. Um, but it, this is for the GT3 RS, and we just we retrofitted it to fit the GT3 Cup on a turbo body. So it's a it's a lot of morphing. We do <laughs> we do a lot of mixing and matching. I love this. I like the look that that uh, this has. Yeah, the exposed hardware was because the the GT3 Cup uh, plastic splitter here doesn't have a, a bottom flange to it. It's ju it's just a lip. You know, so we had to come up with our own mounting solution. Because normally they have like a rubber skirt or something that goes on it because they hit. Well, it's just it's just this what okay. you see. There's no there's no flange, which is you know would be the leading edge contact. I mean, this has framework that bolts to to the tub of the car, so it is strong enough. But as far as what's visual out here to to seal it up to the to the lip, we had to come up with our own solution. Wow. Well, thank you so much for showing us this um it really is incredible like all the work that you've done to it it just it looks so aggressive just from the outside um but yeah if you guys are in southern california or further anywhere i'm sure you have customers all over the place yeah right? all over we get stuff shipped from all over the country really yeah if you guys want your porsche um worked on and made to not maybe not this level maybe even crazier or not as crazy um, but if you want your Porsche to have like the special attention that a lot of these have including this including that 935 including Jeff Swartz cars um, yeah just uh, hit up Joey at Emotion that's where I take my car uh, even though it's the bastard child runny egg car it's uh still gets the love and attention it's a good car yeah. i like that car that thing's fun to drive it really is cool well thank you and uh we'll see you in the next episode thanks Larry.